when you break it down mixing vocals is really an art at the end of the day every different form of making music is an art whether it's coming up with lyrics that's the art mixing it making the beats that's all form of art right but look soundgoodizer is a plugin that helps you reach a certain amount of quality very fast it makes it sound good but look what i'm about to do is i'm about to give y'all some sauce on how to use it and how to understand the different settings that's labeled a b c and d do me a favor though before we get into it i'm grinding bro i'm about to bang out this video and a video on eq i'm trying to make sure i bring y'all the best content that y'all can not only am i i'm not giving y'all no bullshit i'm giving y'all shit that y'all can learn from i'm giving y'all sauce i'm giving y'all stuff that is going to actually help y'all grow as an artist do i do i sell presets do i tell y'all to go buy the presets of course but i'm not just about to only tell y'all to buy sauce i give sauce for free as well and i support appreciate anybody that would want to support me back by buying my presets by buying different things like that if you want to it's linked in the description below my presets are on sadboyfari.gumroad.com first link in the description man. i want to just give y'all a quick little rundown on what songadizer is songadizer is essentially a compressor that enhances your vocals what do you what do you mean by that fari what you mean it, what do you mean it enhance the vocals all right bro don't cut me off <laughs> let me get there it um enhances your vocals by adding warmth clarity as a presence like it, it makes it like stand out and you know defines the vocal it makes your vote it can help to make your vocals sit well inside of your mixes and now that i got y'all you know now that i just gave y'all that brief little rundown of what song goodizer essentially is let's go ahead and hop inside of fl to see how song goodizer affects the vocals we're going to be using my song moolah moolah is also going to be linked down in the description below it's on all platforms so as you can see right here, I was using Sound Goodizer C on Moolah. Remember, I use letter C. Let's go ahead and start with letter A. Letter A is more light. It's a more light setting. You're gonna use this, you're gonna use Sound Goodizer A when your vocals already have pretty good clarity, but maybe it just needs a little bit of warmth in them. This, this setting adds light saturation and compression, but it holds on to like your natural vocal ranges your dynamics and things of that nature just in case you don't know like i'm not gonna have like a, this what i'm talking about bro that's why you need to like the video i give the sauce bro i'm not about to just like say some shit i don't just use big words and don't treat it like everybody know them shits bro look dynamics right because if y'all don't know what dynamics is i'll break it down dynamics is the practice of controlling your singing right controlling how much emotion i'm using uh like whoa. That was bad. Let's switch over to the B setting. When vocals need more presence, uh, more of a lively feel, B adds more compression to help your vocals stand out. It stand out without sounding, you know, dirty or harsh inside of the mix. Make your mix sound too, too tight, too dense. Wait, let's hear how uh, Moolah affects the, uh, let's hear how Sound Goodizer A affects the moolah uh vocals now remember remember when i first when i had it i had it on this this is c count cash i won't lie to y'all boy scouts on it but i'm gonna put it on a because we didn't get to hear how it sounded on a said i stay all right little baby i am not a doctor i can't cash and i smoke i don't own a thing i don't like how that sound but let's hear how it sound on b Said I stay all right, little baby. I am not a doctor. Huh? I can't cash and I smoke. I don't own a thing. I be with Mary. I don't want to sit no Easter pink. Trying to get that shit every second, every blink. Moolah. 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 A dense tight mix is essentially say how I just played that, played the main vocals right there. Imagine if I had my ad libs all the same vocal, the same volume as I have my main. All of those volumes are gonna be clashing because they're all so loud, tight, dense inside of that mix. Again, remember I used Sound Goodizer C for vocals that require like a more, let's see, a more aggressive uh, feel, a more aggressive work, a more aggressive treatment, you will use Sound Goodizer C. You're gonna use Sound Good As You See when you're trying to do like some rock or some rap and uh, or rap or rock. You're just supposed to do the A before the O, you know. English teacher Fari in the building. <laughs> but yeah, C, C adds more compression, uh, it adds more saturation to the vocals. And it basically, it basically helps to make sure that your vocals stand direct and upfront in the mix. 
which is what I did, right? Let's play it again. I stay on the face cam so you can still see my <laughs> mug, but yeah. Said I stay your heart, little baby. I am not a dog. This is with C on. Actually, I, I can just change. And I smoke. I don't own a thing. I be with Mary. I don't want to sit no Easter pink. And look, I'm gonna turn the beat on too so we can hear how it would have sounded in the beat. Look. Said I stay your heart, little baby. I am not a doctor. Huh? I can't cash and I now smoke. I'm about to put B on. Already, I sound muffled. <laughs> hey, that, hey, that fast. I sounded muffled in the mix, right? Let's hear it with A on. Again, let's do. Let's hear it on C. That shit suck, bro. <laughs> Look, bro. Like I said, that's just some good sauce, right? I'm telling y'all, I get the sauce, bro. Y'all niggas about to start calling me BBQ Fari, nigga. The way I'm giving out, nah, nah. Don't ever call me that shit, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> but that shit can help you, you know, with some sauce if you want a more polished industry type sound. I like my shit to be clean, so I be using C. I like to, I like my shit to be scrub it up, dub, scrub it up, dub. But just don't overdo it with this setting though, cause you know you can start getting into like the the high, start peaking and fucking up what you got going on. So chill out, you know, use it sparingly. But let's get into the last one, which is D. And look, D is the big dog, D. Boop. D is max compression, max saturation. So, and since it's the max, that can be cool for doing different, like, you know, it can make you, it can help you stand out. Maybe you want to be a more grittier sounding artist. Maybe you want to, look, these things help change your vocals. It can help change. That's why learning your plugins are very, like, important, bro. Like, think about it. This can help you do a different type of music. Maybe you can sound like a more, I don't know if y'all know, know this artist, but it's an artist named Kill.0 that used to make music with uh, Juice World. His vocals were more of a distortion rap type mix, but it was cool. Different things help you become your own artist. If you want to create your own sound, fuck around, find out, experiment with these different plugins. Boom. You could use D to do that. Be careful because since it is max, again, it will make it sound like it's over processed. Now that beginning part was just to help y'all understand sound goodizer as a whole like make you help you understand the different settings and things of that nature but now i'm about to give y'all some of the like best times and moments and ways to use sound goodizer so look now i'm about to give y'all even more sauce <laughs> now i'm about to give y'all even more sauce uh heinz fari uh 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 Honey Fari? Is honey even a sauce? <laughs> Let me find out. Always remember that when y'all mixing, bro. No matter what plugin, but even with Sound Goodizer, of course, remember that subtlety is key in mixing. Everything, every ling every little change is something is very small. You have to keep making small changes to get to the overall bigger picture. It's very annoying. But it's also part of the fun, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your vocals are gonna be the main focus of your track, right? They're gonna be what's highlighted. Be careful with those. And you know, if you're gonna use a setting like C or D, which you know make your vocals stand out a little bit more compared to B and B and A, you want to make sure that you're keeping your vocals, you know, natural flair and 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 the the emotion in them. Uh, just to just to again remind you that. C and D are usually for like rock and hip hop. And Next rock tip, and I'm gonna tell y'all, remember how I tell y'all the order of y'all presets matter. Y'all see the body of this preset that I have right here? I got my auto tune at the top. That means I want my vocals to start off getting auto tuned. Then I want them to get compressed. Then I want them to get hit with some de -esser. Then I get them hit with an EQ. Then I get them hit with sound Goddard. Then I get them hit with, you feel me? It all, it all works towards the bigger picture. Sound Goodizer is effective on its own. Yes, it's good. But think about where you put it at. Sound Goodizer, how it enhances vocals, think of it as a plugin that enhances other vocals too. You can do it. You could put a Sound Goodizer and then put an EQ after it. You could do Sound Goodizer and then put a reverb after it. 
fuck it just just have fun with it and just consider to take those things into you into into consideration you feel me last but not least always 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 listen to your vocals with and without sound goodizer because again sound goodizer is supposed to be enhancing your vocals but it can kill the dynamics if it's not done right so just turn it off and on occasionally to make sure that your vocals are actually being enhanced and not <laughs> destroyed you know what i mean that's why you always just make little adjustments don't just be making big adjustments and then try to start seeing if you <laughs> you're too far gone buddy <laughs> you're too far gone with that being said though again y'all if y'all want to uh look next year about to be crazy I promise y'all we going up we hit 10k in a year i bet y'all we hit 50 bands in a year i bet you i bet you bro i bet you and i'm not a gambling man uh look though do me a favor and like the video bro push help get the help get a nigga out there bro look we on the row i'm giving sauce after sauce after sauce. look 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 this like a this is sauce packet mm, you get sauce <laughs> you get sauce uh, you get sauce i'm throwing it at y'all niggas y'all like hey 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 hold on uh, obj on that shit but uh <laughs> If you watch this part, bro, I appreciate y'all. Uh, like the video up. Get y'all some fire-ass presets linked in the description, bro. Scream moolah. Let's get that bitch to 5K. Let's get uh, let's get that bitch to, I don't know, fucking 5K on Spotify and Apple Music, too. Fuck it, bro. Let's just go crazy, bro. Y'all fuck with me. I fuck with y'all, bro. Look, I'm about to bang out this EQ tutorial for y'all. I love y'all, bro. Stay safe out there. Keep creating. And... Make the best out of a bad situation, bro. Peace.